Today, we'll be taking on the Gauntlet Challenge with Kevin Stefanski, Miles Garrett, and the Cleveland Browns. Let's check it out. The Cleveland Browns finished the season 7 and 10. Finishing in last place in the AFC North, still a far cry from a few years ago when they were at the bottom of the league. It was interesting to see how Jacoby Brissett led the team while being the starting quarterback the first 10 games. It will be very interesting to see the type of quarterback play that the Cleveland Browns can get next year from their quarterback room. And if they can carry on with their run game with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, they will be an unstoppable running force. They just got to get that offense clicking with one another. The draft will be very, very, very important for the Cleveland Browns as they are $10, $15 million above the salary cap in 2023. Throughout the draft, I believe that the positions that the Cleveland Browns can improve upon could be a defensive tackle, a tight end, a safety, and wide receiver. And because they traded their first round pick to the Houston Texans to get their quarterback, who do you guys think would be a good option? Maybe in the second, third, fourth, or later rounds in the draft. Let us know in the comments below. Browns do have a lot of key players that will hit the free agency market this year, such as Jadavion Clowney, Kareem Hunt, Jacoby Brissett, Chris Hubbard, Greedy Williams, DeErnest Johnson, to name a few. Out of those guys that I just mentioned, and of course, AJ Green, who do you guys want to see back on the team, and who do you guys are content with letting walk? Getting out of some of these contracts will definitely help out in relieving some cap space for the GM. And what do you guys think about Kevin Stefanski? You know, his first couple years seemed to be a home run hire, but the last year and a half have kind of showcased kind of the negatives and the floor of what Kevin Stefanski can do with the team. Do you guys think it's a make or break year for him? Or do you think he'll have a longer leash and doesn't really have to worry about his job? What do you guys think as well about Baker Mayfield? Do you think he deserved another shot to stay in the Cleveland Browns organization? Because prior to his arrival as the first overall pick, the Cleveland Browns were the laughing stock of the NFL, consistently churning out number one picks and being one of those teams that other other teams in the league will look at and say it would be an easier week and more or less a guaranteed win. Do you guys also believe that the Cleveland Browns traded way too much capital and gave out way too much fully guaranteed contract to the quarterback that they got from the Houston Texans? Do you guys believe that the team is playoff caliber and will make it next year? Or do you think it'll take years of rebuilding to attain the level that they had just a couple seasons ago? And if they don't make the playoffs, do you guys think that Miles Garrett will request a trade and want to move on to a new place? Let us know in the comments below. That'll be an interesting topic of discussion between the players, the organization, and around the league. I know some guys that the Browns could look at that attended the Senior Bowl, such as Jaden Reed from Michigan State, Will McDonald from Iowa State, and Keanu Benton from Wisconsin, to name a few. The Cleveland Browns make it to level 22 on the gauntlet, which isn't great, but there's definitely room for improvement. Let us know which team you guys want to see next, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.